Darksville Town was a calm and warm place. But sometimes towns change, and this was the case. One night occurred the strangest thing so far. On Darksville landed a fallen star. The townspeople saw this, and their surprise was big. Inside the fallen star was a demon baby named Sid. He was special, not like the average kid, with a creepy look and always chaos amid. Each year that passed, he showed without rest that his demon nature was on manifest. Mischievous, chaotic, always causing pain, the problems of others for him were a game. He grew with time, and something I can say is that when evil starts, only evil will stay. Here is when Sid's adventure starts to extend. But just keep in mind, he doesn't have a happy end. Another wonderful night to be a demon, isn't it, Mr. Buttons? Oh, I agree. Now let's see what's on the agenda of evil tonight. Let's see... Here it is, Wednesday the 7th. Sneak up on the Heymanson's daughter and cut her braid. Check. Already did that last week. Doubt it's grown back. Create an army of giant mutant chickens to terrorize the farm. Eh, that one didn't quite work out last time. The villagers managed to kill all the chickens and use the excess meat to feed the kids at the orphanage. Hungry little bastards. So let's just skip that until I perfect a non-edible cyborg chicken or something. Make Miss Barbara's pies go sour. Mm, better not. I'm starting to think that old bat's developed a taste for sour pies. I swear she's playing me. Feed laxative-laced bird seed to the local pigeons so they wreak havoc on town. All right, yeah, that one sounds pretty great. Surrender, Sid. Your nights of evilness are over. What's that? Sounds like Dan Teapot yelling at my door again. This time it is over. For realsies. There's no escape from this one. None of your tricks will save you. No more Sid the Demon terrorizing the town. Yep, that's Dan. I'd better get rid of him quickly. Who knows what annoyances that nagging insect is cooking up. He's my best friend, Mr. Buttons. He's very silent today. Sometimes he gets grumpy. What? You want to stay in the bedroom? He wants to stay in the bedroom. 
Hey, Mr. Buttons, wanna chat? What? You're not in the mood? He's not in the mood. It's broken. I removed the cuckoo to make a homing missile a long time ago. Now it's just full of cogs and gears. The lid is screwed to the clock. I can't open it with my bare hands. That's my super comfy bed. Well, it isn't that comfy, but at least it's a bed. It's my bed lamp. It's my nightstand, with a drawer full of evil plans. And my diary, also full of evil plans. I don't want anything from there. Hi, handsome. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is... No, wait a second. It's not on the wall. This isn't going to work. It's the ultimate guide to giving toasts. It's a really long book, but it gives good advice. My toasts are so much better now. Some of my favorite books. How to be an evil mastermind in only 12 easy steps. Doom and Destruction and the Three Little Piggies. They're the socks I was looking for last night. I don't want them now. And I don't know why I wanted them then. They smell. The door is locked. Luckily for me, I'm not in a hurry to use the bathroom. It perfectly captures Mr. Button's personality. It's my lovely fish, Domingo. He knows how to do some cool tricks, like act like a fish or splash, but usually it's super ineffective. It's broken. The tires are flat and everything else is rusty. I'd rather not open it. The giant rat could escape and bite me. In these drawers, I used to store all sorts of useful gadgets and inventions. The basement door is locked. That lever releases the wolves. Ah, so many lovely memories tied to this thing. Release the wolves! Meow! Ha ha ha! Um, shouldn't there be a bunch of screaming, howling, and general chaos right about now? Wait, probably has something to do with the fact that I forgot to feed the wolves throughout the entirety of winter. Whoopsie. It activates the trap door that is outside my castle. It's very useful when Girl Scouts are selling cookies. What? Don't give me that look. I just want some cookies and they always run away when I answer the door. Goodbye, Dan. Wait, why isn't this working? I should check the engine in the castle basement. Dan Teapot is holding the door from the other side. I should talk to him. I can't reach him. Don't try anything funny, demon. Today your evil existence ends. You are not going out. I will trap you inside your castle. Did you notice that you're blocking the entrance to my castle? I know. It's a part of my brilliant plan to end your demonic deed. Isn't it a little past your bedtime, Danny boy? First of all, it's never too late for me. I am the relentless protector of Darkestville. It's 11 p.m. 11 p.m. already? On a Wednesday? Oh, gosh. Well, maybe it's a little late, but I'm on a mission, so I will stay. No matter what. How many times have we been through this? 146 times. 
147 if we count the time you dressed as a girl in order to seduce a giant monkey to turn it against me. Lady Danina and I are not the same person. She is a long lost charming absolutely female cousin. You don't have any uncles or aunts. Exactly. That's why she was lost in the first place. Why don't you go away? I have diabolical schemes to follow. Ha! <laughs> Forget it. Your nights of evil deeds are over. You're not leaving this place. No. -uh. Leave this place before I hurt you in vague but unpleasant ways. You can't hurt me. You're locked inside your castle. You do realize that you're standing on a big trap door with an X on it. <laughs> do you take me for a fool? I already sabotaged the trap door mechanism and locked the basement door. And you can't repair it. Which key did you use to lock the basement door? This one. Thanks. Hey, that was my key. Ah, I don't care. You can't fix the mechs I made down there anyway. This trap door is still useless. Let's see about that. Do you have the missing part of the trapdoor mechanism? I will not fall for that again. Today is your end. You are not leaving this place. What is your plan? Starve me to death? Because I have plenty of food here. I'm not telling you. Ah, forget it. You will never leave this castle again. Hi, Domingo. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy, Domingo? You are. Yeah, you're a good boy. Hey, I found Waldo. And he is dead. Hi, Waldo. How are you today? Talkative as always. It's the key for my bathroom. How did this end up here? I'm happy to have the key to my bathroom. It would be terrible to be locked at home without the bathroom available. A not-quite-finished cyborg chicken. It still needs a soul in the soul slot to work, if my theory is correct. I can't talk to that. It's my research about cybernetic ducks. Turns out, cybernetic ducks are a horrible idea. That's why I'm building a cybernetic chicken. The mechanism is simple. Someone steps over the trap door, I activate the trap door lever, and the dope falls through a system of pipes to end up in this jail. This will drop an anvil onto the unsuspecting prisoner. Isn't that fun? Dan Teapot has vandalized the door mechanism. The chain and some cogs are missing. Dan Teapot has vandalized the door mechanism. The chain and some cogs are missing. It's empty. I think Dan stole my sandwich. Jackass. Old evil plans and research about a variety of things is inside those boxes alongside my old toys. I don't want to unb- I'd- How the hell did that end up here? Is that even physically possible? It's a treasure chest, and it contains the treasure of storing dirty clothes in an organized way. I don't want anything from there. It's full of dirty clothes. The true frozen throne. I can't... I read them when I don't have anything else to do. Now I can wash my hands properly. 
It's full of oil. See, I was expecting this shipment of penguins that I planned on oiling up and releasing back into the wild, but they never showed up. I'd prefer to keep my hands clean. It's locked and glued with some kind of sticky stuff. It's glued shut and I can't pry it open. Maybe if I had some kind of abrasive substance or another. It's okay. It's me. That doesn't need to be slippery. That doesn't need to be... It's a regular bathroom tap. That doesn't need to be slippery. Non-abrasive soap for my delicate skin. A fake wanted poster made by Dan Teapot. I keep it as a memento. It reads, Dead or Alive, Sid the Demon, One Million Berry. I should be more careful where I leave my tools. A gentleman has no class if he doesn't have his cane. It's my hook-shaped cane. I generally use it to ruin the school musicals by yanking kids off the stage with it. I need to put this in a screwdriver to be able to use it. Nuh-uh. Nothing here seems useful. It's just one. I don't want just one sock. I need to put this in a screwdriver. To the inventory you go. I don't want to mess. I have an extremely complicated date based organism. The chain fits, but it's going to need some lubricant. It's way too rusty as is. It sounds like it would make sense because soap is slippery, but trust me, really, it makes a terrible lubricant. I should use some kind of oil for this. No one knows when you're going to need a coat with this crazy weather. Even if that coat is old, and full of holes, and stinks.
Now it's properly lubed. Heh, <laughs> lube. I already fixed the chain, but some cogs are missing. It's full of holes and stinks. I wonder why I haven't burnt the thing already. It's my bed lamp. It's locked and glued with some kind of sticky stuff. It's glued shut and I can't pry it open. Maybe if I had some kind of abrasive substance or another. I'd rather not open it. I used to store all sorts of useful gadgets and inventions in here. Nonetheless, the only thing I found inside that is not broken or useless is this multi-bit screwdriver. With no bits at all. I have a fully functional screwdriver. Don't worry, it was already broken. I hope it. Perfect. It's working as intended as it is. The trapdoor mechanism is functional and ready to work. Hey Dan, let me out. Ha! You'll never be able to- ah! Hi Dan, would you care to explain this whole trapping me in my castle business now? Ha ha! You think you've defeated me, but I've won. Fast. I find your claims tenuous at best, coming from inside of a jail cell. I have delayed you enough here. They are already in town. There's no escape now. Who are they, and why would I want to escape from them? Have you been sneaking mushrooms out of my gardens again? I told you those are for my alchemical experiments. You don't get it, do you? Nope. No idea what you're talking about. I've hired the Romero brothers. The most infamous demon hunters alive are coming for you. They've long been here by now. There is truly no escape for you. They'll track and hunt you down. They are the best of the best. I've kept you from getting a head start on fleeing. Like I said, I win. You're done. Oh, come on, you moron. Don't you realize that it's the villain who's supposed to give their whole plan away with overly detailed monologues? You've gone and messed up our whole dynamic. You don't get it? The Romero brothers are the best, and they will never- <coughs> Silence truly is golden. Now then, let's analyze this little situation I found myself in. A team of demon hunters are, well, hunting me. It's kind of flattering that the so-called best of the best are after me, oh my. Well, if these Romero brothers want a war, then I'm going on the offensive. 
I'll need to go downtown to check them out. And give them a warm welcome to Darkest Hill. <laughs> but, uh, I should probably quit wasting time with maniacal laughter and going. I've got a lot of work to do after all. <laughs> <laughs>